Have you ever paused and really asked yourself, why is India, with so many brilliant minds, still not competing with the USA and China in technology? I mean, look around, we have engineers in every corner of the country. Our people run global tech giants. Google, Microsoft, Adobe, we've got the brains, we've got the numbers. So then, why are we still behind? Let me say it straight, because we are not creators, we are consumers. America builds Google. We type into it, China builds TikTok, we scroll endlessly on it. They invent, we just use. They invest billions into AI, robotics and chips. We celebrate if a new phone gets launched or a cheaper data pack drops. It hurts to say this, but every time we build something promising, we either sell it or surrender it. We don't scale, we don't protect, we don't own. Our education? Still stuck in the 90s. Kids memorize outdated facts while the world builds futuristic labs. In India, if you fail an exam, you are a disappointment. If you fail a startup, you are laughed at. Where is the space to create? And the system? My God! You want to start a factory? Get ready for months of approvals, bribes, delays and red tape. In China, they build chip plants in six months. In India, we build WhatsApp groups to talk about building things. And culturally, we raise our children to play it safe, become doctors, engineers, get that government job. But how many parents say, Beta, go invent something, take a risk, change the world? Almost none. It's not that we can't, it's that we won't. Because we are too comfortable in saying, it's fine, we scroll, we swipe, we stream, while the world builds. But let me tell you something, India is not weak, India is not late. India is just asleep, and when it wakes up, truly wakes up, the world better be ready. Because when 1.4 billion minds stop consuming and start creating, India won't follow anyone, it will lead. So I ask you, will you be a follower in this digital world? Or will you be the spark that finally makes India a tech superpower?